Do you accept cash? <laughs> uh, only Venmo. Thanks. Okay, yeah. done. You're, <laughs> you, you can be bribed in the modern way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm Jesse Van Amberg, the Senior Food and Health Editor at Well and & Good, and today I'm here hosting Cook With Us, our new series where we hang out in the kitchen and invite some of our favorite people to, wait for it, cook with us. So I'm so excited to be joined here today by the wonderful Sam Cass. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. I'm so excited that you're here. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm a chef, at least I used to be a, a, a professional chef. Cooked for the Obamas for eight years. Oh. Um, was Very cool. senior policy advisor for President Obama on nutrition and then ran the First Ladies Let's Move campaign and did the garden with her and all that good stuff around awesome. health and kids. So what are you doing now then? Well, now I'm just a, a chef for my two young boys, but i um, working on the future of food around climate change and health and really trying to make sure we have a food system that's nourishing current generations and especially future generations. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so obviously you've been in very high pressure situations before, so I hate to break it to you, but today I have a little bit of a challenge for you. Okay. So I would love for you to make an anti-inflammatory meal, the most anti-inflammatory meal possible. Okay. But... There's some catches. You have to use turmeric, but it can't involve curry. It has to be a vegetarian, and it has to come together in 30 minutes or less. Yep. So with those constraints in mind, what are you planning on making for me yep. today? I think it's really important to understand that food and is the foundation of our health. So for me, what's, what's really good to do is to figure out what is like a core preparation and then I can apply in lots of different ways throughout my week. We're all super busy, mm -hmm. we're all stressed out. And mm -hmm. so if you can create one sort of foundational uh, dish or like we're gonna do a dressing today, okay. then you can use it in lots of different ways. So we'll do, we'll start with the dressing and then we'll go to the salad and then we're gonna do a cold salad preparation and then a warm salad, a roasted vegetable warm salad Ooh, preparation. Okay. So the, the foundation of this is a dressing. It's super simple, mm -hmm. you can do it really fast. You can make a bunch of it and you can just throw it in your fridge. Awesome, right. well walk me through it. You're what ready? are we gonna do first? Okay, so for the dressing, there's no right or wrong in food. There's like a big spectrum of what's delicious. And so I'll give you a basic guide and then okay. people can play around and make it what they want. So in this dressing, we're gonna have olive oil, turmeric, some lemon juice, some mustard, garlic and ginger, mm. and we're gonna give it a blend. Super simple. Nice. So about a cup of oil. And then depending on how much you end up liking this or wanting, you know, how much you want for the week, mm -hmm. you can double this do half of it, whatever whatever you want. You're typically about two thirds oil, one third acid. Okay, and so the acid in this case is the lemon juice. Lemon juice and mustard. And mustard okay. actually gives you some acidity, but it also helps give you a nice emulsion. Mm -hmm. The real way that fancy chefs would make you do this is put in the, the juice first and then slowly do the oil, but like, don't worry about it. This is like a strong blender. Don't worry about it. It'll be, you'll be good. <laughs> yeah. And then the other rule of thumb is to always taste it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you do your thing, you, you get your ingredients in, and if you put it in there, you're like, you know what? Like, I don't, I don't really get enough mustard in there. Or I, then you can just go ahead and do that. So this is some garlic. Nice. A little ginger. Uh, so I like that we're pairing the ginger and the turmeric together because we're kind of getting double anti-inflammatory Yeah, so ginger properties. also has wonderful anti-inflammatory properties, as we know. Um, so this is turmeric, this is fresh turmeric. Ah, uh, it kind of looks like ginger, like orange ginger. It's like me. a cross between ginger yeah. and a carrot. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. Like, you can't always find it, so you see it, it kind of looks oh, like a carrot beautiful. inside. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. You get, like, more of a root mm. smell to yeah. it. Yeah, um, it really is like a carrot. Everybody can find dry, Turmeric. So we're going to use two tablespoons of dry turmeric in this. But if you have fresh turmeric, all you got to do is peel it, chop it up, and throw it in there, and you're good to go. But Would you to... use more since it's fresh rather yeah. than dried? Yeah, you probably use about double, okay. double the amount. Awesome. All right, so here's our turmeric. Beautiful. We're going to put about two tablespoons in. Mm -hmm. Healthy tablespoons. <laughs> Two tablespoons isn't that much, especially when you're stretching it over like salad dressing and things yep. like that. How can I get more into my diet on a regular basis without like just eating the salad dressing or just eating yep. curry like all day? I actually have struggled with the same thing. So I would definitely try to include it whenever you can in your diet. But I also started taking a, a, a supplement called Upgrade, which hmm. has really had a huge impact on how I feel. And it's actually been processed in a way that allows your body to really absorb mm -hmm. the anti-inflammatory qualities of turmeric. I can feel it in my hand and on my ring. Like honestly, like I was super skeptical. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, everybody's talking about this. My friend was all into it. And I was like, okay, yeah. I'll try this out. I have an extra question for you. Say anti-inflammatory three times fast. Definitely not. <laughs> 
no chance am I taking up on <laughs> I'll take up this challenge, but I'm not taking up not that, that one. Not that, not that. Cool, yes. okay, so we put in our turmeric, what's next? We're all in, now you just get to blend. Oh, okay, that was easy. Let's give a little taste. That's delicious. Not to toot your own horn or anything, but. So let's make um, our salad first. Whoa, wait, so that was it for the dressing? Yeah, I'm now like, we're good. Okay. You're All done. Right. Do you see, like, this is a really nice, thick, rich dressing. That's it's got beautiful. a beautiful color. Be careful, it stains absolutely everything it touches. <laughs> you can use it on just about anything. It's a really powerful, strong flavor that can do a lot of things. Okay, so we're gonna do a kale salad to start. Super straightforward, we're just gonna take out the big stems. Oh, so, and you just, like, kind of rip it with your hand? Yeah, I just, I'm not too precious. <laughs> uh, I have, like, that, like, a kale stripper thing at home, but I feel wow, like you're it very, takes... you're very fancy. <laughs> But it takes, it just takes so much longer. Here's the big thing about being forever. human, we have these thumbs. And I know, hands. thumbs are great, I've so heard. They work pretty well too, you know. <laughs> uh, now this is a Lactino kale. Italian, they call it black kale sometimes. There's no right or wrong here. You can do it bigger pieces, you can do okay. it. But, but for this, in a salad, I always find the kale is better sliced really thin. Especially because it's such a thick, it's, it's a thick leaf. Thick. It can be yeah. really like kind of chewy and tough yeah. if it's not done right. If you're doing this with kids, the trick is bear claw. Mm -hmm. Always yeah. make them do the so bear you claw. You don't, lose a, you don't lose a finger. finger. So then you want to massage it and break it down with some of the dressing and just give it, you know, at least 10, 15 minutes, ideally, okay. which we'll be able to do. So I'm going to actually dress it first. If it was like a lettuce, I'd wait. Okay. Because this will break it down. But because it's it kale, so pretty. you want to get it some time to start breaking it down. And I'd add a little salt because the salt will help break it down, yeah. We're going to add some pecans. You know, you want fat, acid, mm -hmm. and some salt. And then you want texture in terms of what tastes good to us. Mm -hmm. And so um, nuts in salads, are, it, brings, yeah. it brings a whole other dimension to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little red onion. You could dice these if you wanted. And if you like onion but it's too strong, you can also wash the onion and it takes out some of the intensity of the flavor. Oh, good to know. And then mint. And I don't think a lot of people Ooh, put mint in with kale, but it really brings it to life. It so I do a real extra. rough chop because mm -hmm. I actually want the mint to pop and we're good to go. That's so, it? That's, that's the salad? It. We're good. So we're gonna let that hang out. I'm gonna show you the roasted vegetable version. Okay. Same dressing, totally different preparation. So I roasted some of these vegetables. Ah, now sneaky pre-roasting going on here. The magic of television. <laughs> you can do any vegetable. There's no right or wrong. For me, roasting is one of the best ways to prepare vegetables. I'm it with you. It brings out so much flavor, and it's super simple. You just throw them on a sheet tray and throw them in the oven. I often broil my vegetables. Oh, smart, yeah. Turn the oven on, get it really hot, and then just turn the broiler on, and then mm -hmm. put them in. So today we have carrots, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, Plus, I really like the mix of vegetables that you chose here. Little diced shallot just to bring it together. How long would you say you roasted these vegetables? Every oven's different. Okay. So, you know, it's about 20 minutes or okay. so. The hotter the I am oven. judging you on time, and so I was like, I want to make sure this, this well, part Well, if your dressing is already minutes. ready, you just quick chop in the oven, mm -hmm. preheat oh, yeah. it, and you're done. Yeah. So just get it as hot as you get in your oven will go. Yep. And then you just drizzle some of this dressing on. One thing about dressing is that you can always add more. So add some, taste it. If it's not uh, enough, you can always add a little more. Yum. And then just some parsley on top. It gives it some bright brightness to it. Kind of like how the mint does in the salad. Same deal. And we're done. Whoa, that was so fast. Gonna taste it. There you go. Okay, so I've got some nice pecans here, onions. This is gonna be a very graceful bite. It's gonna go be great. for it. Okay. See, really, mint, really good. The mint brings it to life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So come on, am I getting my awards, my points? I gotta know with the other dish. Now onto your main course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you see that? Mm -hmm. She even closed her eyes with that. <laughs> Feeling good about my chances here. Yeah, okay, so to recap this challenge, we asked you to make a super, super anti-inflammatory meal using turmeric in a creative way. It had to be vegetarian and it had to come together in 30 minutes. So I would say that overall, you knocked it out of the park because not only did you make 
one meal, you really made two with the potential for leftovers. Yep. So already doing really well. Winning. So in terms of flavor, I give this 10 out of 10, particularly this one. I think I could have used a little bit more dressing here, but I think especially the vegetables, I think this dressing worked really, really well on kind of like getting that caramelization flavor. Yeah. And then in terms of ease, this was super easy. I think you get full marks on that too. Roasted vegetables are really easy to throw together. The dressing, excuse me, came together in like five minutes maybe. And then the salad itself came together in another five. And especially if you pre-made this dressing like you suggested, you could have 15 minute weeknight meals. In terms of nutrition, I think again, you knocked it out of the park, you use like entirely vegetables, all whole real ingredients, which is really exciting. You use double the anti-inflammatory power in the dressing because you had the turmeric and the ginger. Um, and then all of these other ingredients are rich in antioxidants, phytonutrients and fiber and all of the good stuff. So I'm really, really impressed. I think the only thing I would have loved a little bit more protein, like these feel like side dishes. Also easy to add. Totally, I mean, yeah, could, like you could This roast. would be amazing with a piece of salmon or mm -hmm. any kind of fish yeah. put on top of that. Mm -hmm. That's a whole meal right mm -hmm. there. And you could probably, if you were roasting the vegetables, you could roast the salmon in Throw there this. too. Yep, and you're mm -hmm. good. And then creativity, I think you get full marks for that as well. You had all these ingredients that people are familiar with, but you combine them in a really great way. And I felt like I learned as well a lot about kind of like adding mint into salad. I would have never thought to do that unless it had watermelon in it. And I thought you used it in a really exciting way. And then I really like adding a dressing that people would think as salad dressing on roasted vegetables to make them taste even better. And then I think I'm giving you bonus points because you came in and gave us two recipes, but not only that, you gave us, technically you gave us three recipes really because you had the salad dressing. And then also you gave us something that we could, that was versatile enough that I could use in many, many, many other dishes besides just these two here. It wasn't specific to only work with these ingredients, which I think is really great. Well, I'll take that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys do with the rest of the dressing. I'm curious to see what you come up with. Thanks everyone for joining us. And if you like what you saw today, be sure to subscribe to Well and Good on YouTube. Bye. See ya. Thank you.